we're going to do a vanilla cake with a buttercream frosting. I am going to do the exact same cake that Tiffany is doing. I'm just gonna add in some cocoa powder and espresso powder into my cake to make it a chocolate cake. So this is two and a quarter, two and a fourth a cup, okay? That's one, I have a half here, one and a half. I need three-fourths a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna mix that up and I'm gonna set this aside. Two sticks of butter and a tablespoon. I need one and a half cups of sugar. You scoop it like Chef says. Okay. Gonna start it on slow, give it a stir, let it do its thing. All right. Good. If you get some whites in the yolks, that's okay. Yeah. If you get whites in the yellows, that's okay. If you get any yellow in the whites, not okay. Get my egg whites in. This, I wanna turn this as high as I can. Right? Is that yes. Mrs. Meringue? Yes. So the only thing here, I creamed my butter and sugar, right? I whipped my egg white. Okay. I measured my flour. Okay. Now I'm gonna get all that flavor. Okay. All right, so I'm going a tablespoon of almond. I'm also doing a tablespoon of vanilla. Take the side. Anytime you're baking and you have butter and sugar, just remember you always have to kind of scrape down the sides ensure everything is getting mixed in. And I'm just gonna kind of fold it in. Again, your mixer can do this too, but I want you to see what your, what your texture should be. So before I add my flour, I am adding in a third of a cup of cocoa powder to my flour. Mix it all in. Dry with dry, you saw that. You know that's why she's putting it in her flour mixture. That goes all in. One cup, three four. You won't taste. Um, you won't. It won't be like sour. It's not a sour. It's not enough of that. So we're gonna put one cup of batter into each. You want to push it from the middle out, all right? You don't want to get the batter smeared around the sides of the pan because what will happen is that little, like, rim of batter that's on the sides will will bake really fast and burn. I'm gonna set my timer for 18 minutes. So, a stick of butter, half a container of cream cheese. So we haven't changed the measurement here. I'm doing two sticks of butter. She's doing one stick of butter and one stick, stick of, of cream cheese. Yes, so cream. I'm just sort of substituting. Mm -hmm. A half a cup of brown sugar. Add in a tablespoon of vanilla extract as well. I need two sticks of butter. I need a little bit of vanilla extract. Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Two. Okay. You see, you guys, like, if you, like, there's lots of, like, little lumps in your powdered sugar. So that's why I'm sifting it. And if you get to a point where it's all just, like, little lumpies in there, just push it through. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be a mess. That's going to be all over my outfit. <laughs> Yes. And then you can yes. just sprinkle it right in. Sprinkle. Sprinkle. sprinkle time. So I'm feeling my um, frosting and it feels really thick and dense. So I'm gonna add um, one tablespoon of milk and thin it down just a little bit. So you see, like that one tablespoon of milk made a really oh, big yeah. difference. I want to show you the texture of what too thick looks like. Yeah. 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 
just a pinch, just to balance it out. When we want to test our cake, we have these nifty little things oh, called wow. the cake tester. <laughs> in and out in the center, and you want to see it come out clean. The other thing is like if you don't really press down, you'll end up with pockets of air, and as you're pushing, it'll be up, like, and you will just have air coming out. So be careful though when you're doing this, you don't want to break your cake. Peel it and then, okay, on there. In the fridge they go. But they have to be cool because think about what's in here. Butter, you put butter on anything that's warm, what does it do? It melts. It melts and your buttercream will melt and your cakes will slip slide away. You start off on one edge, just gonna take the very, um, top layer of this off so it's sawing back and forth and turning as you go. For this one I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna go. Mine I'm gonna do just a touch different only because I want to put some lemon curd here or around the edge sorry. Nice even layer. Okay, okay. So I put some in my hand. I just love me a sprinkle. Mm -hmm. Making just little circles. All right, anyone want to try some cake? Yeah. Yes. Yep. All right. I thought she never asked.